So you bought yourself a new mid-range Android device. Hey, good for you. You're getting a lot more value for your money compared to those expensive flagships. So what's the catch? Well, once you take it out and set it up, you realize that it has a ton of these pre-installed apps that you don't really need. These apps, as you may have heard, are called bloatware. In some phones, they can be uninstalled easily and others, well, not so much. They allow you to disable them but not really uninstall them, meaning that they'll still continue to take up space. But there is this free app that you can use on your PC that can easily uninstall any of these apps. It's called Universal Android D Bloater and you can download it for free from the link in the description. You just have to go into your phone settings, click on software information and click on build number seven times, which unlocks developer options. Once you navigate to that menu, which is sometimes hidden under additional settings or something, you can just search for developer options and in there you can enable USB debugging. This will allow a user to customize the software present on the device with a USB connection, which is what we are going to do. Make sure you also download the platform tools folder from the same web page and download the package for the universe deep bloater on whichever platform you want. Windows, Mac or Linux, all three are supported. I'll just download the EXE since I'm on Windows 11. Extract the platform tools folder and keep the dbloater exe in the same folder because you will need some tools from there. And that's it. Just launch the dbloater and connect your Android device. You may get a prompt on your phone saying that do you want to allow this PC to access debugging settings or something. Just say yes and accept. It won't ask you the same thing next time and you can always disable that. And if your phone is recognized successfully, you should see all the apps and packages installed in a list. You can scroll through if you want or you can simply search the name of the app you want, in our case say Netflix. There you go, I found two packages, let's just uninstall both of them. You can immediately see it disappear from your phone in real time. It's so awesome, it literally takes one click and like two seconds. You can really do that with any application. You see, built-in apps are nothing really special. They are just apps that have been set to read only, meaning that you as a user can only read the content or access the app, but you can't really do any changes to the source code. But this universal debloater uses ADB, which is Android Debug Bridge, to access that particular file and then uninstall it. Well, actually it just archives that file, it doesn't permanently delete it. In fact, you can see it listed in the uninstalled section and you can easily restore it with one click. That's a really good security feature. It kind of acts like a recycle bin for your apps. So if you accidentally uninstall an important app, you can easily restore it from this list. Some of the apps may be named differently. Like for example, OneDrive is not exactly named OneDrive. It's named as SkyDrive for some reason. So you may have to search around for the app with different names, but you will eventually find it for sure. There's no way that you see an app on your phone, which is not present as a package somewhere. It has to be there. So yeah, that about does it. Just spend like a couple of minutes on this free tool and your phone will now be bloat free, lightweight and super fast. And not to mention you will have more storage space to fill in apps that you actually want want instead of the ones that came pre-installed. Phone manufacturers do this so they can strike a deal with the app companies which pay them to pre-install their apps. It's good because it makes these phones affordable but the user experience may not be that great. But thankfully you can easily get rid of them like this without even rooting your device. I hope this helps.